The stock has nearly tripled from the pandemic low. Joining us now for more on those earnings as part of our Back to School series is Under Armour CEO Patrick Frisk. Welcome back to the show, Patrick. Good to have you. Thank you, Sarah. My, my first question is on the outlook. We're still kind of in uncertain times here around the, the Delta variant and COVID-19. What is giving you the confidence to boost guidance to the more than 20 percent growth kind of numbers? Well, I think we've done a really good job as a company to be able to execute throughout, you know, the pandemic. And we built really strong resilience as a team as we think and look forward here into what we believe is going to be a robust back to school season. We've really made sure that we have covered the basis, so to speak, in terms of how we source our product. We're less affected by what's going on right now, perhaps in Vietnam and Malaysia than most other people. We only have about a third of our sourcing coming out of there. So we think that we've factored in the potential disruption that, that currently uh, is visible to us. And we're looking forward to executing now here in the back half. You're seeing better price points for the brand. That, that, that's a big part of the story and the, and the higher margins. Can you explain what you think is driving that? Because a lot, a lot of other companies in the industry are seeing this as well. With the inflationary environment, they're able to pass on those higher price. Consumers are flush with cash. What, what's letting you do it as a brand at Under Armour? Under Armour has become better at being able to launch franchises into the marketplace, especially in footwear. Uh, we launched our new Flow platform this year and running, for example, the Flow Velocity Wind at $160. Comes on the back of the Machina last year at $150. We're now into multi-generations on some of our strong franchises in, in, uh, in running like Sonic 4, Machina 2, Infinite 3, etc. And that's certainly helping us elevate the game. But it's also about um, being able to constrain demand. We've made sure that we have the right inventory levels in the marketplace. You saw our inventory go down 26% in this last quarter. And for us, having the right uh, product, the right place, the right time, being able to support it with the great marketing that we now do, and as we've talked about also ramping up here in the back half, is really what's helping us drive those higher AURs and, and building value back into the brand. 